What's up guys? It's Christine with Irene Iron Fitness and today I'm going to show you how I make my smoked salmon omelet. Keep watching. So we are in Oregon. We just crossed over the border. We spent some time in Seattle and Washington State in general. One of the items that I wanted to get myself while in Washington was some smoked salmon. I've been hankering for it, I just have a craving for it, and it's something I don't normally get for myself. So this was a big treat for me. I got this package of smoked salmon, and one thing that I like to do while I'm traveling and trying to keep my healthy habits is consider treats outside of, you know, it doesn't always have to be a restaurant treat or a bakery treat or something that's sweet. This is my treat. So I've been just thinking about what I want to do with it. And first things first, I'm going to make myself an omelet and I'm going to do an omelet with fresh dill and um, a Dijon mustard sauce. It's going to be very easy and it's going to be so quick. So let's get started. I'm just going to use my 10 inch skillet and I'm going to get it over like a medium heat. I'm going to use egg whites. I'm using only egg whites for this because the salmon is a little bit fattier. A two ounce portion of the salmon has six grams of fat, 13 grams of protein, 430 milligrams of sodium. So I am going to measure out just one serving of the salmon because of the sodium content. If it wasn't so high in sodium, I'd probably use four ounces, but I'm gonna keep it in check, I'm gonna ration it. Um, this package says you wanna use it within four days of opening. So I'm likely going to, this is one pound by the way, so I'm probably gonna just keep half of it in the fridge to eat the next four days. And then I'm actually gonna freeze the other half because Aaron doesn't enjoy salmon and I don't want it to go bad. So that's what I'm gonna do to make sure I don't waste any. Some other ideas that I know that I wanna do is maybe some salmon on rice cakes with goat cheese would be really good, or a salad would be really good as a topper. But I always try to keep all my meals at least at that 25% protein or higher. So this with the egg whites comes in really well at 29 grams of protein for your omelet. And I'm gonna use this spray today. I don't normally use sprays, but in the sake of this omelet, I'm gonna take an easy step and just give it a little spurt. I already have my egg whites measured out. So we'll get those started. It's gonna cook pretty quickly. So while that's forming up, I am going to measure this out. I do use my scale all the time. I highly encourage using scales, even if you're not tracking or counting calories. It's a great tool for just learning portion sizes and familiarizing yourself with just acknowledging how much you're eating, what's in what amount, and it just really helps you educate yourself with time that way. So let me try to get this open. I'm trying to race those egg whites so they don't burn. And all I wanna do is get two ounces off of here. I can see my egg whites forming. Okay, and this is beautiful. This is wild sockeye salmon from Anchorage, Alaska. So I like to just put my food right on the scale, switch it to ounces, and just pull away. Sometimes it's easier to use the minus feature versus the opposite way. So I'm gonna scatter the salmon on here. I'm gonna turn my heat down. It smells really good. There's all sorts of different salmons that you could get. I looked a lot at the different markets and I've just been waiting for this. You wanna make sure you look for little bones that are in the salmon too, like just pull them out. And then all I'm gonna add with this, like I said, is the dill and a little dressing and then a little garnish. 
So two ounces actually is a really good amount on this because you don't want it to be too overwhelming. And this consistency of this is really nice. It's like crispy and moist at the same time. So dill, I'm gonna leave a little bit for garnish. I am going really heavy on my dill. If you can see, this is like half a cup of dill, but I love it. If you're not as into it, just use a little bit. And then for my sauce, I'm using one tablespoon of sour cream mixed with equal part Dijon mustard. I'm gonna mix it together. I like to use touches of sour cream here and there instead of cheese. Um, it just adds a little bit of richness to a dish that you might try to get with dairy. I don't cut out dairy completely, but I do limit it and I feel a lot better when I'm not adding gobs of dairy to things. And also I like sour cream instead of a uh, mayonnaise. So if you're trying to get yourself off mayonnaise, maybe you like to have tuna sandwiches or like canned salmon and you're using mayonnaise for a lot of stuff. One thing that I like to do is use just a little bit of sour cream. Okay, so I got my dill in there. I got my Dijon sour cream mixture. I'm gonna do a, just a touch of salt and pepper because the salmon is a little salty, I'm gonna be heavier on the pepper than I am with the salt. And then, it's already ready to go. Because I'm using my 10 inch skillet, it has that surface area. You can do different types of omelet flips. My omelet is really big already, so I already broke it. Um, some people are definitely better at omelets than others. This one's not gonna be an all-star, but I'm gonna flip it into this plate. The trifold is a really pretty way to present it. And then I just did a half fold because I didn't want to break it, but you can try to like, you know, make it look a little bit better on your plate. What's important here is that it's gonna taste really good. It's gonna be different than what I normally give myself. So that's gonna be exciting for me. Switching things up are always a great way to keep your diet interesting. And then a little bit of the dill on top. Dill can be hit or miss and fresh herbs in general. I got this huge bushel of dill for like $1.50. So I have a lot of it to be really generous with it. Sometimes you'll just get those little plastic containers for like $2.99 and they're super expensive. So if that were the case, I'd be more stingy. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of tomatoes. Another fresh cracked pepper on top. Pepper is really good as a garnish too. It just like makes that dish look like it comes together. And that's it. So this is my omelet. I don't know how long that took, probably like five to seven minutes, five, 10 minutes, somewhere in there. And I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and get my protein in and start the day off right. If you want the full recipe, go to my blog, ireneironfitness.com. You can get all the measurements of the stuff that I use and then meet me here next week for a new healthy recipe and meet us on Sundays for RV travel, RV tips, and some vlogs. Thank you so much. Hit that subscribe and the like.